What is up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube and other internet places? Today, I will bring you the second half of my cultural victory. Alright, so, if you guys don't remember what happened last time, I was just finishing up my, uh, or just starting up my monument on my second city, and working on my burial tomb in my primary city. So we got, uh, we're, we're creating 19 culture per turn right now. Which, that is pretty low for what we're going to be, for what we want to be, uh, for what we want to be getting here. So, uh, we need to step up our game. But currently, it's actually not too bad. Um, I did find some ruins up here, but I do not want to move my warriors up there. And, uh, and, uh, I'll just leave it for now. Um, that's what I was talking about when I said power level. You see, every time they attack me, I'm just getting XP. So it's pretty awesome. I don't care, city states. Like I, doing missions for city states is only good in Brave New World. Uh, end game because that's. I think that might be the only way that I've won. Brave New World. I might have won one domination victory, but most of them have all been, uh, diplomat victories, because all you have to do to win is, like, it turn, like, 2,025-ish, somewhere in there, all you have to do is, um, uh, uh, just buy every city-state, just pay them money, that way they like you, that's all you gotta do. Okay, this is ridiculously laggy right now. Oh my goodness. Let's go into this menu real quick. Options. Single player auto turn ends. Single player quick combat. Single player quick movement. Alright. No basic tool tip. Okay, so map info delay. Let's see what's in here. Let's go with that. I'm not even sure what that is. Except. Okay. Alright, so that might, uh, city can attack. Don't care about research agreements, bro. Um, see, if I would have been working on that great library, I wouldn't have finished it yet, and that guy totally would have just stole it out from under me. Um, these guys are attacking my city, which is kind of stupid of them to do. But, uh, go ahead and let them do it. Um, so right now, your goal is to be building up happiness and culture. And, um, I'm doing that about as effectively as I can. Um, Gandhi would be a pretty good one to, uh, to have for cultural victories, because his, uh, his passive. Um, this also is pretty good though, because now in my second city, whenever I'm trying to build stuff, um, as long as I already have it, I'll build it up pretty quick. Um, I'm not going to get the pyramids done, but we'll give it a shot, I guess. <clears throat> so this is a little bit quicker. So we have a round in turn 60 here. Um, we're getting, <clears throat> excuse me, we're getting a little bit more uh, culture per turn here than we were about 10 turns ago. We've gone up a couple. All right now, here is where it's going to get really important what you are going to want to do. So you're going to want to grab legalism because it's going to give you monarchy. And that's plus one gold and minus one unhappiness for every two citizens in the capital, which is phenomenal. Right now it's only minus three unhappiness. And what you want to do, basically, at this point, <clears throat> is build your capital. Oh. You want your population to skyrocket. 
then there's two reasons you want this. Um, that would Colossus would be good in your first stick if you started next to water. But um, the reason that it's good to expand this city extremely quickly is because our next social policy that we're adopting um, is going to be quite. Uh, it's going to take away three happinesses, which are going to give me like a when I get there probably about four or yeah two culture two or three culture um and it's giving me one gold which is really what we're looking to get here because uh gold per turn is the way that we're going to uh be able to survive any onslaught from enemies which actually where we're at currently is a pretty good place because People are going to either have to be really good friends with this guy, and they're going to come through a really good choke point, or they're going to have to come from this way, which I don't even see anybody down there just yet. Um. Alright, cool. I need to build that after I finish these pyramids. But, they are can't scroll over and it's really annoying. Um, give me a second, I am going to go turn on my light. Alright, sorry about that, but um, the reason I wanted to turn on my light is because I actually have a, a, a tech tree um, poster on my wall, like right above my computer. Alright, so I think I know which, which way I want to uh, I want to be heading. I think I want to head down the sailing, sailing tree. can't scroll over. Man, this is really stupid. It's making me extremely upset. But, um... I want to grab construction. <clears throat> That's going to give me the options to make coliseums. Coliseums will give me happiness, and happiness gives me culture, as you guys know. So... What I'm wanting to do there. I uh, totally wanted to attack with that guy, but apparently that's not what we're going to do. Because the auto turn has kind of screwed me over on that one. But most of the time it's been reasonably helpful. So, um, we're going to want to grab the monastery because that will give me six culture because I have three sets of incense. Incense. Not incests. I don't have three sets of incests. We're about to finish up construction here. And I got four turns until my golden thingy is done. I'm going to want to grab iron working here. Sure, let's work together, Japan. Go kill that Solomon guy. That way I can get my unit. Japan is the best for us. Uh, for domination victories in regular civ, because their units always fight at full combat strength even when they're low health. Alright, so we're getting closer to uh, five turns until we can get our next policy, and by the time, uh, time we adopt our next policy, we're really going to be cranking out some, some good culture here. So this city doesn't have very much protection, so we just want to go with the Colosseum for now. Uh, choose research. Metal casting. Solomon has declared war on me. Blah 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 blah. No longer need you. Mem versus Grill. Cool. I don't care about city states. I don't know if we can disable that or not, but I want to. Choose protection. Um, see if we can't squeeze out the Great Wall before anybody else does. Um, 
I don't think that I'm going to be able to. But uh, we'll go ahead and try, I suppose. No harm in trying, eh? And if we can, that would be, that'd be great. So, you want to get Monarchy now. And so now I have seven happiness and I have four gold per turn, which went up by three. No. And it will scale with my population here. So, as later on in the game, your population will get higher, but with your population getting higher, at least for your main city, it will give you more happiness. So that's, that's not too bad. So we're still uh, kind of focusing on food here in our main city. And we're going to want to go ahead and uh, maybe change that a little bit here. Actually, no. Perfect on how it is right now, actually. But uh, here, when we're. Actually, yeah, we do want to change that. Engineers are great. So I want to switch that guy over there, that guy over there. Remove that one there, and we need to do food for that. Alright. So we're going to leave that guy there for now. Production. Food, we have not gotten to the uh, surface yet. Um, I don't think I'll be able to do the National Epic. But some cultures are actually really slow in stuff that they do. So I might be able to get that. Thank you. And it's really annoying that those advisors keep telling me shit that I already know. Please stay message. Don't care. Alright, so we got uh, one more turn. And we will have finished the Great Wall. Which I actually didn't think we were going to get. Um, Great Wall is pretty good for culture. Gives me three per turn. Um, don't really care about the whole movement inside of my terrain is reduced thing. Uh, let's build that. Um, I'm building this, uh, it only gives me one culture per turn, but that's not why I'm building it. I'm building it because of these buildings. Just because I'm a friend with you doesn't mean I'm going to give you a bunch of free shit. Um, go ahead and speed production. Forgot to do that last turn. That kind of sucks. But, um, go ahead and grab sand. I'm going to take a couple turns here. Um, can't remember exactly what I was saying. Uh, great person. That's exactly what I'm looking for. And a great person, I like to go ahead and grab a scientist here. Scientists are scientists, but artists. Artists are good when you're trying to go for a cultural victory. Because this building will give you six culture a turn. So now I'm getting 46 a turn. It's much better. Um, go ahead and produce a Colosseum now. Always use more happiness. Because happiness is culture. I actually might be able to get that national epic would be good. Uh, next turn I will be um, a new policy. I couldn't think of what I wanted to say there for a minute. Uh, sorry about that. But for every monument, temple, and monastery I get one happiness. Um, Each city you found will increase the culture cost of policies by 33% less than normal. Now, I'm not exactly sure what that means. Um, because right now, it's taken 475. So let's just go ahead and grab that one. It's taken 570. We only went up by, uh, what's that, like 95? So apparently for each city that, 
what's your cost of the next thing is reduced by 33%, which that can't be right, because if you get four cities, you're reducing it by 99%. So, yeah. Not exactly sure what that means, but, but we'll go with it, I, I guess. So we're about to uh, finish up our Coliseum here. As you can see, um, I'm just stockpiling gold. And that's another really good thing about this is that uh, when your empire is always happy like mine is, because stacking happiness is key to, um, key to what you're doing here. Um, happiness equals culture, happiness also equals golden ages, so it allows you to stockpile money quicker, and like I said previously, the reason that we're stockpiling money is because um, we're going to be a pretty small nation, and people are going to want to go to war with us, and when people want to go to war with you, um, I found that the best thing to do is to have low amount of troops but have high amounts of money and as soon as someone wants to uh, go to war with you you just buy up tons of troops and just uh, completely wreck them is basically the uh, is the goal and you wait you wait until they're they're attacking you and then you go ahead and just uh, buy as many units as you can and then you upgrade all your current units so um, one thing you'll see me do here is uh, you'll actually see me not upgrade this axeman for as long as I can because if I keep an axeman people are going to think that he's that I'm still really weak so they'll try to come take me over and when they try to come take me over Basically, I'll beat the shit out of them, and uh, I'll get free gold because they'll need to uh, sign a peace treaty with me. That's basically uh, the plan on that, on the war front. Border expansion isn't really uh, all that important in my play. Because we don't rapidly expand, so it's not that big of a deal. We want to grab currency now. Um, for obvious reasons, like I was just saying, we're trying to stockpile money here. Two turns, we actually might get the Colossus too, which would be kind of funny. Um, Alright, so now we're going to want to move more down the Piety Tree. So basically what we're trying to do here is uh, we're trying to get five of these uh, of these trees right there completely full of stuffs. There's a better word than that. Just give me a second here. Back to uh, do something. Um. I forgot what I was saying. Anyways, oh yeah, we want to grab five of these trees and then we're allowed to build a building that once we build it, we automatically win the game. So, we're already uh, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11 cultural, or 11 uh, policies deep here. In 4, 5, 6, 7, we're going to be more than 50% done. So, we're getting there. Definitely getting there. And um, I don't know why these aren't. Are they giving me? I really hope that they are giving me the stuff that they're supposed to be. Because if not, I'll be upset. But um, anyways, game's just ticking right along here. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and end the uh, end the video here because of uh, it's been about it's been more than 50 turns. But um, hope you guys liked watching and uh. See you guys next time. Peace.